right, so what we're going to go ahead and do today, we are going to um, make an image for corrupt data block on our memory card for the PlayStation 2. So first, what we're going to start by doing, we want to get a picture uh, that we want to have you know, for the icon. So I'm going to go ahead and use this picture I've got here. Um, we'll go ahead and open it with paint. Computer's a little slow. We're going to go ahead and change the pixelation. Uh, make sure you uncheck maintain aspect ratio. And then go ahead and uh, 128 for vertical and horizontal. Okay. Save as BMP picture. saved okay so we've got that now what we want to do open up BMP to icon go find your file um, which actually give me one second I want to rename this really quick to we'll just rename it test and actually I'm gonna do that all uppercase because what you want to do you want to name it because you have to name it in a uh, and the save builder you've got to go ahead and change it so or not change it but uh, have it the same and it's just easier to type something in that you can remember what am I doing now yeah that's right so then we're gonna go ahead and save it same thing um, test save 3d rectangle cube or flat square I want a cube convert successfully converted There's our test icon. So go ahead and open up PS2 save build. Make sure you create a folder, a new folder, and drag and drop both of these into there because it will not run without the DLL file uh, you know, right beside it. So here we are. New. So for the my icon, delete. Should just have icon.sys there now. And so we're going to go ahead and insert new file. test.icn open and for some reason it's not popping up over here oh that's right we have to edit this so double click on icon sys test test.icn test.icn and make sure you put the dot icn at the end and test, that's what has to match what's on the desktop here, what you have named. So, and for all three slots as well. All right, go ahead, click OK. There's our cube. Now for the background, oops, scroll down just a little bit. Color one, color two. And then three and four. Um, the rest I'm just going to leave the same. You can go ahead and change them. It's not going to make much of a difference. Um, so yeah, anywhere that, anyways, there we are. And so we don't need this really. The only thing that we need is the icon.sys. So we're going to right click it. You're going to extract it. And. Um, We're just going to name it test one. Save. There's our uh, there's our file. So that's all we need from here. We have both of those created. And uh, properties. No, it doesn't say that it's a .sys file, but it shouldn't. I mean, I guess because it's Windows. Um, so anyways, that's what we need now. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we need to get that to our PlayStation 2. So, oops. Right 
there they are. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, we'll stop this, we'll jump onto the PlayStation, and we will throw those, um, you know, throw those into the folder. Alright, so now that we got that on our flash drive, um, what we want to do, let's go ahead and um, go into you launch Elf real fast. Alright, so what we want to do first, go to file browser, click on memory card 1 where your mod should be, and go ahead and uh, just create a folder that kind of tells you what this is. So for me, this is a project background. Um, that's where I saved my picture to. So there's my JP JPG file. So now what we want to do, and you're going to have to change your path settings when you boot back up to get your background picture back. Just go into it, change settings, and uh, and choose that folder, and then choose your uh, picture. But anyways, um, so now what we're going to do, go ahead, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and put in your flash drive. Alright, so we're going to go first. Actually, I'm going to take my flash drive back out. I just want to show you guys this. Um, So I'm just going to go into the memory card real quick. Two blocks of corrupted data. One of those is my picture. Um, so. Go back down to you launch elf. I'm going to put my flash drive back in now. Alright, so what we're going to do... Go down to your uh, storage device. There is my custom icon folder. Go ahead and PSU paste it here. Now I have to go back. other one. Oops, wrong button. Copy. And now we're going to go paste that back in the same folder. So, now we can go ahead, restart the system. That is how to change uh, your corrupted data block or whatever it is on your memory card that you want to, you know, identify that you can recognize. This is how you do it. I will include a link to. Um, I'll just, you know, throw both of those into one uh, one download. So um, there you have it. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, go ahead, you know, if you did like that, you know, hit that like button and subscribe.